Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Model Car Nick, and today I have two Porsche Carrera GTs right here. Um, both of these are 118th scale, um, fully opening models, and they are made by Maisto. Um, so I kind of just wanted to show you the differences of just a regular standard Carrera GT, and then the Maisto Premier Edition. So let's kind of get into it, and starting off with the just overall look of both of these cars. I'll start with the red one up here. So this one's red, obviously, with uh, silver wheels and yellow brake calipers. Um, both of these have the roof off the car, but this one is finished in black and it's got yellow brake calipers. And the wheel design of both of these cars is just slightly different. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But so starting off with the front of these cars, let's take a look at them together. So from a glance, they kind of look the same, but there are two key differences. Um, this one over here on the right has kind of a slightly different front bumper. As you can see, this one has um, some fog lights down here, and they just look a little bit different. The license plate um, is on different locations as well. So there's just a slight difference. Also, um, you can kind of take a look at these body panels on the car. Um, as you can see, they're kind of easier to spot on this red one as compared to the black one. They're kind of nice and tight, as you can see. All right, so getting on with it, um, I do think this one does look a little bit better um, towards the front of the car, but um, that's just my personal opinion. Both the headlights have pretty much the same level of detail except for one key difference. This Premier Edition over here on the left has a little bit of yellow turn signal indicators as the other version does not. So those are really the key differences on the front of the car. Coming down to the side, I would say both of them look the same. As you can tell though, the panel gap line on this model is not as good as it is on this model. So moving on, this is a fully opening model like I said, and both of their hoods do open. And if I can't get it now, I'll just move towards the end of the video, but no, I got it. So let's take a look at both of these um, frunks, I should say, um, and just see the differences between the two. So obviously this one over here is pretty nice. Um, it looks like they have nice quilted carpet laid out, and I think that's a pretty cool detail, as opposed to the Premier Edition where, um, yeah, obviously you can see the two right there. Um, the standard version's definitely not as good as this Premier, um, definitely better than the Premier Edition in the terms of the frunk. So I'll go ahead and close those up. Both the badges on the hood seem pretty much identical, nothing really to complain about there. So I won't drum on it too much longer. And taking a look at the wheels. So the difference between both of these is, as you can see, these are kind of flat. Look at the, look where the, the, the edge of the wheel meets the tire compared to the, the Premier Edition where it's more of a concave wheel, as you can see. The actual spokes sit a little bit deeper inside this one. Um, moving on, both of the brake calipers are yellow. Um, detail on them, um, they, I would say they're slightly better on the Premier Edition. I feel like they're just a little bit bigger. Um, so, you know, both of them have their differences. I do like this wheel design, especially this one has the, the center lug nut right here. The other one is just black, so you kind of miss out on that color combo. As you can see, on the other side of this car, it has the um, the blue lug nuts. So you got blue lug nuts, and you have the red ones over here. Um, and then this one, obviously, it's just black on both sides. And I don't really particularly like that as much, so kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, um, moving up on the hood as well. As you can see around the windshield, it's all red, and this one has kind of a silver um, matte finish around the windshield. So that is kind of a key difference to know. As you can see, they kind of look different. Um, the design's obviously very subtly um, different. So I was told by one of my friends, I'm not too sure if it's true, that this is actually the prototype um, to the Carrera GT. And you know, that sounds about right if you just compare the two. This one looks more like a prototype, obviously, compared to this one. I'm not sure if that's true again, but I heard that, so maybe it is. Um, moving on to the side, though, as you can see, there's some more differences. This one has clear uh, side markers, while this one has a yellow one. 
And there's also different door handles, as you can tell, there's actually a, a door hinge right there. Well, this one has the lower door handle down there. Um, I don't really mind either one of them, to be honest. I feel like this now kind of just makes it look a little bit dated while this one's kind of just streamlined, no actual door handles on the car. So I do like that. Um, so, but if you don't like this model so far, I'm gonna show you a feature of it um, towards the end of the video that will really change your mind. And a reason why I've kind of decided, hey, I kind of want to keep this model instead of just let it go, but we'll get to that. Um, moving back towards the side, we both have these really nice air intakes. I feel like this one's a little bit more exaggerated, or it has a, the hole's not as big as you can see. Well, this one, the side air intake is the whole side of the vehicle. So that is a difference to note there. Um, you know, wheels on the back, pretty much same situation as the front. Uh, let's turn around to the very rear end of the car. And as you can see, I don't really think there's too much of a big difference here to really note. Um, main things are I'm noticing is this one has this, I think a rear brake light right there. And while this one does not, um, tail lights, I say, you know, they're, they're about the same. I think these are a little bit better as you can see the reflections or they just use kind of a different material for that tail light uh, lens as this one's a bit more see-through. Um, moving down to the exhaust tips. Uh, turn signal indicators or just reflectors back here and while the other one does not it's kind of a more clean design um, when you compare the two um, exhaust tailpipes I would say are also slightly different this one has a bit more of a um, you know kind of uh, uh, as you can see that I feel like this one's just more round sorry about that um, but yeah moving on down to the diffusers they're both actually identical nothing really to talk much about there um these re rear wings do have sl a slight function this one does work and this one does not i'm not too sure if it comes like that um new but this one um was a used model so i'm not sure if it's broken or if it just doesn't come up so this one does move though freely it comes up and down and it kind of pivots this one like i said does not um another key difference is when you open up the trunk lid for the one on the left, as you can see, it comes up. The engine bay actually does look pretty good down there. A um, little bit of carbon fiber detail, and that's obviously the textured carbon fiber, but this is kind of what you're getting uh, when you open up the hood for that one. Um, and I will note, this kind of has a different uh, texture to it compared to the other one, while there's kind of a graphic on this actual uh, plastic piece itself and there's a bit of like mesh look down there but that's also just printed it's not actually mesh um, one more thing the engine obviously peeks through the back on this one and it does not on the other one so we'll go ahead and open this one up it also does open from I believe all the way in the rear I uh, could be wrong about that yeah the whole rear deck lid actually comes up on this model so it's, it's pretty massive to display with the rear deck lit up itself, as you can see. Um, it just, the whole thing kind of comes up. So I will say this is definitely a lot better to view the engine bay. Um, and it's, you know, different details as well. As you can see, the suspension setup is not kind of different. Um, so you can judge those details for yourselves and uh, you decide which one's better, uh, but I think you can't really go wrong with both of them. This one's kind of a little bit more clean and easy to see down there, um, while the other one on the left definitely has a lot going on as well. So we'll close that back up um, and we'll move on to the interior of this car. Also, one more thing to note, this does have a different gas cap. As you can see, this one's kind of just a flap up here and you can't do anything with it. This one's kind of a, a nice exposed gas cap. So I think that is a pretty cool detail. Um, something that the one doesn't have. So we'll go on with the interior and I won't spend too much time here because I feel like these both look pretty much the same. As you can see, the seats identical almost. This one has a bit more detail to it though, but just a little bit. Um, the one thing to note though, is that this model is very special because this is the only Maestow that I've ever seen 
that actually has carpeted um, floor mats. It has flocking on the floor mats, which is pretty incredible because Maisto does not usually ever do that. And like I've said, I've never seen it before. So that is very unusual. Um, but yeah, those are really the key differences between the models. So you've kind of seen them both um, together, but um, I'm gonna talk about my opinions. So like I said, I think this one really has a better design externally. Um, I like the front bumper more, uh, you know, and just, I just think it looks better overall. I think it looks pretty cool in red as well. The black one though, the black one was one of my first model cars I've ever gotten about three years ago. And, um, you know, this was a really cool model to have. I actually, every time I pick it up, I I find a new detail on it. And as I've gone through the whole list of the features on this car, you know, there's actually a lot of better, uh, you know, craftsmanship or quality that went into this particular model um, compared to the other one. Um, you know, like I said, though, I don't like the design as much, but the fact that this does have carpet, I think is a really special thing. I mean, that does not happen on Maisto models, guys. Um, so I think this this model is kind of undervalued to me. Um, I picked this up for $35, maybe even 30. I can't remember the two. Um, but, you know, that much money for a car of this caliber, I think, is an incredible deal. Um, and that being said, I don't think there's anything wrong with this uh, version as well. Um, just It just does feel a little bit cheaper. The rear wing situation, it's not working as on this one, it actually does. Um, so if I had to pick the choice between one, I think I'd have to pick the original, or not the original, but this uh, later version. Because I just like the designs on the exterior better than some of the features that this one has on the interior. Um, you know, the wheels themselves look so much better on the red model. Um, and for that reason alone is a reason to get it. But also, I don't like how the front bumper hangs so... It, well, I'm saying this one on the right doesn't hang low enough. As you can see, this one's basically on the ground, while the black model over here is looking like a pickup truck or something, because um, the height is just... the height difference is incredible. So... Um, if you're going to pick one, I would recommend this one. I got this for $20 on Facebook Marketplace, which yes, I did pay resale, but I thought that was a pretty good deal considering I always wanted a, the Red Carrera GT. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my review between these two models. Um, you guys let me know which one ever you think is better in the comments, if you don't mind, because I am curious what you guys think. Um, so yeah, and just a quick, a quick peek, I did rearrange. Some of my other models, um, this is a brand new F40 that I got. I did a review on that Diablo 6.0, and now I have a Mini Champs SLS Black Series. So, um, you guys are going to see a review on some of those new models and some of the other ones that I haven't done in here as well. So, uh, like I said though, if you've made it this far, you definitely are the man or the woman, uh, whoever's watching this video. And uh, if you don't mind liking and subscribing, I'd very much appreciate that. Um, you guys have a nice day and uh, thanks for watching.